Hey guys, what's going on? It's Constantine, aka Smart Guy Commentaries, and um, this is another video, but um, this one is going to be a little different. This is uh, out of the usual, off the schedule, I guess. Um, I decided that I'm going to do a, uh, a multiplayer, I mean a multiplayer, a let's play, and that's going to start tomorrow, but um, I first want to talk about, I just saw, I just saw um, the video, the movie, Coney 2012, and I felt that I needed to, to share with you guys. And as you can see, this video is titled, um, Stop Coney, uh, Stop, uh, YouTube, Stop Coney 2012. And, um, pretty much what, what I'm saying is that, um, there, pretty much, if you guys don't know, uh, which a lot of people don't, because this video just came out, this movie just came out yesterday, and the, and the, um, and this thing's been going on for, for years now, but, um, as you, as many of you don't know, um, Joseph Kony uh, is a man in Uganda who kidnaps uh, children, and um, not only does he kidnap children, but he um, he forces them to to serve in like a child army, and he he turns girls into into sex slaves, and and he he forces little boys to join his army, and um, and it's just it's actually if you if you watch the video the movie uh, Coney Twenty Twelve, it's it's sad you see what happens like in one of the for one of the children he watched his own brother getting getting murdered, getting getting his throat slit he watched his brother get his throat slit, pretty much which is insanely sad and um, I I, uh, I I can't even imagine that and um, they brought the topic up they brought the point up to the to the U.S. government. And initially, the U.S. government ignored it, and um, pretty much U.S. foreign pol policy is that um, the United States cannot and will not get involved in, um, well, not cannot, but just the United States does not want to get involved in um, in foreign affairs that, A, do not affect the economic well-being of the United States and do not pose a direct threat to the well-being of the United States. And um, currently, it's just a problem in, in, in Africa, and, we, and it, it's... It's spreading in Africa. They haven't. They, Coney uh, and his uh, and his group, his army, hasn't spread to the United States. So it's technically not a a, a threat to the United States, but it is a threat. It is. It's a, it's a worldwide threat. Uh, not a worldwide threat. I'm sorry. It's it's uh it's a threat currently in Africa because lots of lots of kids are living in fear, and um, it's actually it's sad because no one really knows about it. And no one wants to do anything about it because. Uh, because they're not in danger. People in the United States don't realize that that this this kind of um, this kind of because this doesn't really happen in the United States. People aren't able to build uh, military militaristic like uh, empires, I guess. And, and he's, it's not like he's being supported by somebody. It's not like it's not like he's it's not like a government is paying him or something. He he just kidnaps children, and makes an army, and he by himself uh, creates these 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 powers, uh, this, this power, and, and he, he lies and, and kidnaps children to, uh, to continue his, 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 um, his, what's it called, uh, his empire. I don't know how to push this. But yeah, he, he's, he's kidnapping children, and he's, he's forcing them to maintain his, his empire, and, um, in all honesty, it's, it's just, it's actually disgusting. Like, if, if, if this were to happen in the United States, and uh, I'm sorry I'm repeating what I'm saying uh, a lot, but uh, I repeat, I repeat, I repeat, like kind of like that, like if, 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 like that. But yeah, um, if this were to happen in um, in the United States, the news would be all over it immediately because the United States, you know, Uganda isn't like a isn't uh, an economic world economic leader. It's not it's not like worldwide world known, and um, it's it's actually really sad uh, to think about because. It, it and as they said in the Coney 2012 video, which was released uh, two days ago. Uh, now on this, this is the seventh. It was released on the fifth, and it has already almost 10 million views, uh, which is insane. Um, I'm gonna fall down here. Yeah, which is insane to think about, and it's just um, the U.S. government isn't really getting involved. But um, if you, for example, I shared a link on my Facebook, and uh, the, the few of you that are friends with me on Facebook will see. That I think I'm only friends with two of you on Facebook, but you guys will see. You know, I I posted about this on Facebook, and it's it's actually sad because I I'm I'm gonna call. You have to call because to get this notified, it's not a problem in the United States, and the United States doesn't have to get involved. Like um, 
in Iraq, they attacked the United States, or they attacked the United States, as some people don't believe. Oh, shit. Get away from me. Uh, they, they attacked the United States, and, uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan, and, and they posed a threat to the United States, actually, and put it, and which is why we got involved, and... For example, if we weren't, if we weren't, like, a first world, if we weren't, uh, we're not, like, we're, we're not, what I'm trying to say is we're not threatened by this, um, this Ugandan leader. We are, we are threatened by, uh, we're not threatened by the Ugandan leader, is what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry I'm getting off topic because I'm playing a, playing this game, but still, it, it shouldn't make a difference that, that we live in the United States and that our problems are more important than the problems of children in Uganda, which is, which is sad. I mean, it pretty much is what they're doing. It's, it's, and as they, as they said in the Kony 2012 video, which I got sidetracked from saying before, but they said it, it shouldn't make a difference as to where you live. Uh, where you live shouldn't make a difference as to if you live. And these children in Africa are, are scared for their lives. If you watch that video, like, so many of them are scared for their lives, and they're getting kidnapped and girls are being turned into like into sex slaves and and boys are being turned into into child uh army men infantry men and it's just um it's actually insane because uh, I, I can't even imagine like like can you imagine just getting abducted and forced to to kill people like these children that get abducted are forced to kill their parents sometimes and uh as i said in the video as well i'm quoting it a lot uh, 30,000 30, kids uh were, have been affected by this um and forced by forced by this guy Coney, uh, and uh, to to commit like these these ridiculous acts uh, of murder and and, and rape and pillage. So um, pretty much uh, what I'm what I'm telling you guys is uh, this video is for YouTube to become notified. I maybe have YouTube post a video about it and promote promote video the video of Coney 2012 and stuff like that. And maybe maybe have YouTube uh, make people all over YouTube just realize about this problem. If they haven't seen this video already, um, if they haven't seen his video already on uh, Invisible Children Incorporated, uh, which is uh, yeah, it's just um, so what I'm what I'm pretty much trying to tell you in this video is that I want you guys you guys should make videos about um, why uh, I'm dead, about why it's important to why you sh people and uh, others should become involved in this and. Um, you should call like your local like congressman, like representative, and speak to him and speak to them and just tell them because if the more the more emails and, and calls and, and letters they get, the less and harder it is to ignore. Which is um, which is yeah, the harder it is to ignore if they have these these ridiculous piles of emails and and letters and stuff. Uh, it's gonna be harder for them to ignore, and. That's pretty much what I'm telling you. I want you guys to like to make videos about it and uh, notifications about it and post on Facebook so all your friends know. And you tell them to call like your local congressman so they they become notified too. Because once it's seen uh, by the general public that there's a problem and it wants to see by the government that there's a problem, it's gonna get there's gonna be actions towards it because once all these congressmen from all over congressmen from all over the United States are getting notified about this these problems. Then they're going to get. I don't need glasses, but I sound more. No, I'm just kidding. It's not mine. But uh, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a huge problem, and um, and people are gonna want to take action. The government's gonna want to take action if it's in the if it's in the interest of the people. So um, that's pretty much what I'm trying to tell you guys. That this is to just take action. Maybe call your local government representative and let them know like share like share it on Facebook and stuff so people find out about it and uh the goal of Coney 2012 is to catch Coney in 2012 because this movement was started uh, a while ago like years ago at least 5 years ago um and and still nothing has been caught and he's still been continuing to capture children and uh the reason it's called Coney 2012 is because they want to make a difference in 2012 uh by the end of this year to catch him and uh first to catch him the U.S. government has to authorize uh, the Ugandan army to help. Has to also has to author, authorize Americans uh, in the American army to help uh, oversee the the uh, Ugandan army to help capture uh, Joseph Kony so he can be put on trial and arrested, and all the children can be returned to their families that they were taken from. 
So, um, and what I'm trying to tell you guys is just this po make it known and uh, just just get. We're try. Uh, we're trying. I don't know why I'm saying we're because I'm not a part of it, but uh, I'm trying to help anyway. But uh, the Invisible Children are trying to make Joseph Coney famous, not to not to celebrate him, as it says in the video, in the description of the video. It says we're trying to make Joseph Coney famous, not to celebrate him, but to uh, to make him known for like his evils and to get him caught. And so the more people that know about him, the more uh, we're gonna want to take action, and the more likely it's gonna be that um that he is stopped and uh... that's about it guys for this commentary tomorrow i will post um... the actual minecraft let's play i'll create a new world and everything i'll start from the beginning and uh... yes yeah, so i'll talk to you guys tomorrow and uh... peace